Okay, hello everyone and welcome to our uh, YA Big Physics Lectures for this week. So uh, this week our problem is we have two particles with these masses that are connected by a massless rigid rod of length L. And at time t equals zero, the first mass receives an impulse perpendicular to the rod, which gives it a speed v. And at this moment, the second mass is at rest, and we want to find what is the next time the second mass is at rest. It's an F equals MA problem. Uh, so basically, um, let's first draw the setup, M1 and M2. So um, the first mass receives an impulse, and it has a speed V. So this will cause the center of mass to move. And um, to find the velocity of the center of mass, uh, that's pretty easy. MV1 and uh, is equal to M1 plus M2 times VCM as a momentum. So MVCM is just equal to M1 V. Oh, this. It will just be V, my man. So it's just M1V over M1 plus M2. Okay. So uh, the center of mass is moving, but the impulse to M1 also causes this rod to rotate. Okay. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so let's see. Okay, so in the center of mass frame, um, we have that of V1 in the, um, yeah, let's call V1 the velocity of M1 in the center of mass frame. So V1 is just equal to V uh, minus VCM, which is of course equal to M2V over M1 plus M2. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so then, uh, okay, let me think. Okay, so now, um, after th when this like rod rotates, uh, we know that after one full revolution, it'll be like the exact same state as before. Um, yeah, the, uh, this is just cause like uh, we have this state and it's move, it moves, but then um, it just needs to go through one rotation and then because the, and then it remains in the uh, same state of the velocity because the VCM never changes. So then uh, since we want M2 to be at rest, and at the beginning, M2 has some V such that it is at rest. Then after a uh, rotation, it has the same V here, and the VCM is also the same. So then uh, when we add those together, we get the M2 is again as V equals zero. Uh, so then, um, yeah. So this means that all we need to do is find the period of one revolution. So uh, the distance from M1 to the center of mass, uh, well, this is pretty simple. We know it has to be balanced. It's just uh, this D is equal to uh, M2 over M1 plus M2 times, uh, yeah, the length is L times L. And then, uh, so now the period of one revolution is just going to be equal to 2 pi d over v1. That's the distance it has to travel through a big circle over the velocity. So this is just equal to 2 pi times m2 over m1 plus m2 l over uh, v1, which is m2 v over m1 plus m2. So this just cancels out and we're just left with 2 pi L over V. So that's the answer. T is equal to 2 pi L over V. Okay. So yeah. Uh, so that was just an F equals MA problem. It's pretty easy. So yeah. Um, hopefully you understand how to do the problem now. And so uh, thank you for listening. Bye.